So for the 40 Under 40 Award, I was selected uh, because of my work with the Georgia Muslim Voter Project. So that is an initiative that is encouraging Muslims to register to vote and become politically active. So I work as an ophthalmologist at Emory University, um, and I work at Grady Memorial Hospital through Emory. Uh, where I serve as Chief of Ophthalmology here. Iman, the Inner City Muslim Action Network, is a social change organization um, focusing on the inner city communities, fostering health, wellness, programs that really engage for social justice. As the Victim Assistance Specialist, I assist um, victims of federal crimes, various crimes um, that come through our office, but primarily my focus is assisting uh, survivors of human trafficking. So in the last year since we launched, uh, we actually just launched in January, we've increased our voter registration efforts and have uh, increased it to, the, to statewide and we are able to reach masjids all over the state. Before Super Tuesday, we got a lot of people out to the polls that have never voted in a primary before. So we felt that that was a, a big success because most people didn't even really understand what a primary election meant. One of our main programs is the, is the re-entry, green re-entry program that helps formerly incarcerated men uh, find communities that they can build uh, strong relationships with and get job training, re-enter society as, a, as a, an assistant to the, to the community, as a help to the community. And so that program is something that we've brought to Atlanta on the southwest side of Atlanta. Uh, this year we'll be opening our first facility. Um, people who go out into other parts of Georgia and serve Georgia, uh, the vast majority of them have trained at Grady, at Emory. Um, so, you know, I feel through my work, um, um, my career is being multiplied and um, the good that we do for Georgia, Atlanta, um, the Southeast um, is multiplied through my efforts teaching residents and fellows here at Grady and medical students. So in the work that I do, I work with a lot of women and part of what I do is try to um, relate to them that there really is hope and that they can come out of their situation more empowered. So we all have an obligation, no matter what faith you're from, no matter what cultural tradition or background, we all have a role and a responsibility to serve and help. I think the philosophy that um, we as Muslims strive to be is this God consciousness, that everything we do, we try to do it for the pleasure of God, for the glory of God. Um, and um, I've been blessed to have a job that allows me to do that. I believe that the younger Muslim community has a lot to offer. They can bring a lot of energy, um, new positive energy to the table and um, you see that a lot of young Muslims are doing different um, types of professions and contributing to the community in a great way. I want Muslims to become politically active to a point that um, there is no need to, to fund voter registration efforts or voter advocacy because it's just something that's a part of life. Honestly honored and very humbled um, to be receiving this award. It's an honor to be able to promote the work that we're doing here at the Georgia Muslim Voter Project. It's an honor to be recognized as a Muslim leader 40 under 40 uh, here in Atlanta. The honor comes in the fact that um, I'd like to be an example for other Muslims to achieve and strive in their careers and their lives. <laughs> 